I pour you a cup of tea. Hello and welcome back to another podcast right here on the Total OS Today Technology Channel. Singer songwriter Stephanie Forian is back. She's joining me once again from Germany. How are you, Stephanie? I'm very good. Thank you. I know you've been busy. Uh, how's the Living Album Project coming along? I am recording another song today, and I will hopefully have it online on Thursday. Oh, goody. Yay. I can't wait. Excellent. Let's go to some news and nonsense and see what we have, okay? Mm hmm Well, the first one, I kind of thought of you. This may sound strange, but in one of the podcasts, you mentioned that you like lizards. Yeah. Like little furry things. I don't know if you're like this, but this is actually from last fall, and the headline is, uh, ticklish rats giggle and jump for joy, according to <laughs> news. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, but uh, rats love to be tickled, and that, and they not only giggle, but they jump for joy too. Uh, and this was a research done in Humboldt University of Berlin, oh. uh, in Germany, and it says here, "What's the point of tickling rats for si for science?" I thought the same. Thing. I was just asking myself that as well. Yeah, why does tickling induce laughter? Why are tickling effects so mood dependent? Why do mood dependent? Why do body parts different? Why can't we tickle ourselves? I guess there's a need to uh, study this. And it says we confirmed that tickling of rats evoked vocalizations, approach, and unsolicited jumps. I guess this is a German word, Freudensprung. That's, ah, yes, that's jumping for joy. <laughs> ah, well, see, I learned a new word, Freudensprung. So, anyway, I thought that story would tickle your fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. Well, uh, this is um, uh, from New Jersey. A massive taco pizza draws huge crowd to New, new Jersey. New Jersey eatery. This taco pizza looks terrific. Uh, it's a restaurant uh, has developed a cult following due to its massive taco covered pizza. It's a massive $75 taco pizza. I guess it's become a fan favorite, Stephanie. And he even had a customer come in from Sweden. Wow. To... I would fly over for that. Yeah, it, it looks terrific. Uh, but you'll never guess the name of the business. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's Tony Baloney. <laughs> 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 Sounds like something I heard in the, uh, what was that HBO series about gangsters? I can't think of it now, but it uh, that's it. Yeah. Hey, hey, Tony Baloney's here. Watch your mouth. Hey, but no. Um, anyway, uh, that's a tasty story. So let's, let's move along. Uh, this is kind of funny and weird. A fortune teller uses asparagus to predict the future. Uh, she claims, uh, she's predicting that a, a, a national treasure Brit couple will divorce, uh, Jim, Jim, Mima Packington throws asparagus spears into the air and interprets the way they land. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I will, I will predict this last month at Kroger's where I shop, they had specials on bunches of asparagus, uh -huh. you know, for like 99 cents. So I ate a bunch of those, and I predict that this story is a bunch of nonsense. So there you go. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. Um, well, this is unusual. A, uh, a Pennsylvania pastor <laughs> is perplexed by a 10-pound package of pot. Uh, mm -hmm. poli <laughs> yeah, police in Pennsylvania said a church pastor contacted authorities after receiving a UPS package that unexpectedly contained 10 pounds of marijuana. Hmm. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> I don't know. But I guess this person is very upset and traumatized and feels this person or persons who were going to pick up the package might come back. Uh, yeah, I guess that could be a problem. Uh, the total worth of this is ooh, $270,000. Wow. Well, I hope that story doesn't go up in smoke. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I could resist. Okay, the last one, Stephanie, this one's for you. Uh, Museum of Ice Cream features pool filled with sprinkles. Oh my gosh, e I need to go there. <laughs> in Los Angeles, residents and visitors speaking, seeking to take in some sweet-toothed culture have a new destination, the Museum of Ice Cream. 
Uh, this opened temporarily last summer in New York, expanded to four times its size, and moved across the country to the Los Angeles Arts District. The museum features 10 exhibits. Each room features the smells and tastes associated with ice cream. And it's shown the pool filled with sprinkles. I'm like, what? No cheesecake? Come on. But, uh, <laughs> no, it looks it looks yummy. It's open until May 29th. Oh, you'll still be in Germany. Darn it. Oh, man. Oh, man, I know. Hey, I need to, like, take a road trip starting at Tony Bologna's. <laughs> and then across the country... I'll play at any good eatery I can find and then end at the ice cream museum. <laughs> Music and food, the perfect combination. I agree. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you said you might have something unusual to uh, end this show? Um, well, you had requested a story from the road. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I thought I would tell this little story. When we travel, um, a lot of times we've got tons of oversized baggage because uh-huh. – um, you travel with a lot of your equipment, not all of it, but um, so we've got, you know, piles of guitars and basses and things like that. Um, and we also had a tech um, suitcase mm-hmm. and um, the previous drummer of the band had this really hardcore, like hard case suitcase mm-hmm. and it was bright pink, like really like mm. really like girly girly pink okay Um, and the reason he had that is he's like nobody has a pink suitcase so i can always find the pink suitcase and when he left the band he donated that pink suitcase Ah. to the band and said you guys can use it for your tech stuff uh, because you need a heavy duty suitcase and so we would throw all our cables and really heavy things in there and this 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 thing was dreaded anybody who had to take pinky home um, because <laughs> someone would always have to carry Pinky home um, and then back to the airport the next day. And none of us ever wanted to do it because I am not lying. <laughs> it was over 100 pounds. Oh. It was really, it was so heavy. <laughs> I could hardly lift it. And um, so we would travel around the world with Pinky in tow. And every time we went to the airport, someone would be dreading taking <laughs> Pinky home. And until finally, one day, Pinky broke. Oh. Yeah, it was a very sad day because oh. Pinky had been had been with the band for a long time. <laughs> um, but uh, we had to get a new suitcase. And the only one that we could find on short notice was, of course, black. Um, and so uh, we ended up having this black suitcase. But everyone kept calling it Pinky. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so one day, I think we were in playing in Moscow. Uh-huh. And um, we were waiting at the airport and Pinky never arrived. Ooh. And so um, we told the promoter, Pinky's not here. You know, we need our pink suitcase. And they said, OK, well, we'll be waiting for it. And so um, we all went to the hotel and then um, we got the call that um, we have the suitcase, at least the scan, like from the barcode says that it's the suitcase, but it's not pink. And they said, so can you come and make sure that it's the right suitcase? Yeah. Someone had to drive. And if anybody's ever been to Moscow, you know that driving through Moscow is no small task. It takes about four hours. Da, comrade, drive. yeah, yeah. Ugh. So someone had to drive to the airport and check and make sure that Pinky <laughs> was really there. So we got to our black suitcase and said, yeah, that's Pinky. <laughs> and and took Pink, it home. Pinky. Um, I have to tell you, Steph, that... That 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 is such a heavy-handed story, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pinky, who who whoever thought Pink could be so heavy? Not the singer. I, that's not what I would. But never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Oops, oopsie. <laughs> well, the stories of life on the road with Pinky and Stephanie Forian. Um, um, you know, it's funny because I'm looking at the last story about this this museum of ice cream, and there's a lot of pink in this. So um, mm. well, there you go, if that means anything. But uh, <laughs> yeah, pink ice cream and pink stories on the road. Stephanie, this was fun. So it was great chatting with you again. I know you've been super busy with the Living Album Project. Take, check out the Living Album Project on YouTube and on stephanieforian.bandcamp.com. She is releasing the songs as she records them in uh, raw format or semi-polished and you guys the fans will have input on which songs can go on the album right yes that is right okay i'm looking forward to the next one so check out stephanie on the youtube and check out the latest monday music minutes vlog she does a terrific short rendition of of amazing grace in that german church and it is absolutely freaking 
awesome guys check it out i'll have the link below in the show notes so uh that's all i have for this one i know it's been a while would you like to try and take us out again <laughs> okay today i'll take us out with some onomatopoeia Vroom! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> take care guys i'll catch you next time and uh, we'll, we'll try and do a live event soon okay Okay. All right. Though That's I it. Know Adios, muchachos. Go, go, go. Bye, bye, bye. So I take it to me before the warmth can flee.